but she found the car for me and asked about she Guys, I want to talk about, uh, you know, David o for a while. I still want to talk about uh, uh, whiskey terms and the rest because a lot of people have been talking about it. That is something I want you guys to understand. I still have a throwback video of whiskey and Bonaboy performing on uh, the stage that some people are still reacting to after years of being posted on social media the video revealed that uh, he is about to buy a mclaren as he ships his uh, rosaries back to nigeria and that he has made a video of that which has gone viral on social media before i dive in to talk about these things i want you guys to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time i upload my videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media don't forget to drop your comment in the comment section below <laughs> Yes, I have a video of David o at Riaza. You know, most people like condemning David o to an extent, saying that he's got a whack frog voice and the rest. But forget about the uh, frog voice. What you need to understand is that that crack of frog voice is David o's trademark. You know, it's something that uh, flavors most of his uh, sounds and that a lot of his fans, they've enjoyed over time. Yes, I have this, um, you know, uh, the, the Riaza actually trending on social media posted by Sound City Africa. And I think uh, the video is one hard worker when it comes to entertainment. You can't come from a rich family like this, still working hard like David O. That is why uh, most people are falling in love with this young man, David O, saying that. Despite, yes, you have a lot of money in your family, they are famous for spending and living lavish, but you are still making um, your money, working hard as if you came from a very poor background and that a lot of people are encouraging the video to do more. Yes, uh, seeing the uh, Riaza, do you believe that David O uh, is got what it takes to stand as number one artist in Nigeria because a lot of people like comparing David o with Skid and Bonaboy to understand this is, uh, you know, owing to the achievements of that many of them or uh, most of them have achieved in recent time, you know, knocking off the old achievement. But you have to understand that Whiskey's achievement is more than you know that of David O and Bonner Boy to an extent, and that is why we need to respect a whiskey to that. Having three point something billion streams on Spotify is actually huge, and having a lot of international recognition, and uh, with the recent um, you know essence that is making a climbing chart in US is also a huge concern. Many people have been vibing to that song, and that I will still talk about in this video. Yes, the sniper of the video you saw right now is American Bia, who said she does not know Whiskey and Bonner Boy spotted a vibe into Whiskey song essence, and that is you know kind of raising some kind of concern right now. Some people are just responding to that, reacting to that. Some people believe that she wanted to like catch some cruise. That was why she said. Yes, I don't know Whiskey. And what do you believe about the whole story? That is something I'm asking right now. I think uh, Whiskey Song Essence has gotten some kind of uh, global recognition that a lot of people cannot actually talk Nigerian entertainment, um, you know, African entertainment without talking about Whiskey to an extent. Biar is an American rapper who said at a program with um Nicki Minaj that yes I don't know Burner Boy I don't know Whiskey and that generated a lot of reactions and a lot of people actually blasted her out right now she was seen vibing to essence by Whiskey and Thames and that is 
one thing that most people have been commenting talking about on social media do you think that she wanted to like trend for some time that was why she said yes i don't know this guy even bonaboy came out to accuse her that yes uh you said you don't know me but you've been like uh, in my dms and uh, you know comment section commenting about me since 2008 and that a lot of people are now responding to right now Away with me. Tell me that from uh, whiskey beer burner boy you know terms essence and the rest let's speak about terms for a while right now terms actually bless us with a particular rendition on a song with you know money words and that song is getting some kind of mad viral attention on social media and i want to say that yes i like this style of song of um you know terms because this is actually unique to understand and i think uh, that style has contributed in the uh, essence for it to get some kind of uh, global recognition but some persons are overhyping the thing saying that um that song should be credited to only terms but i don't you know believe that at all whether you like it or not that song is being owned by whiskey but right now you know terms actually uh had a song with a particular young man and that song is now on sound city being posted and being attended to by a lot of musical lovers but whether you like it or not i love the style of terms that is another unique style i'm seeing in nigeria i think uh, terms um we have rema we have bella we have um, you know omale and a lot of others the, they are the future of Nigeria entertainment like Ruga and Irasta. I think because they are coming in with some kind of unique sounds that a lot of people, especially in their ages now, or in their age are now like, yes, we want to hear more of this and they are enjoying uh, within this particular time. Afro Reef by Rema is another big one coming in from Nigeria to Africa and the world seems to be like comfortable with it and I think we have to give kudos to Rema for you know uh, starting another uh, kind of um, music movement uh, genre of music called Afro Reef. Alright guys, I'll be sharing with you um, a true back a uh, video of uh, you know performance by Burner Boy and Whiskey that is getting some kind of mad attention. A lot of people are craving to see this more. We have um, you know Whiskey and um, Davido performed at a time, and people are saying that we should have Whiskey, Davido, and Burner Boy on the same stage. That is going to be madder than any other thing. What do you think about that? You know, having Whiskey, Burner Boy, and Davido perform together on the same stage, uh, on the same song, and that is going to be huge. But right now, their fans uh, tends to like be dividing them, you know, and that is quite disturbing to the larger business music community, and that is not good and healthy for the business of music in Nigeria. Why some other persons will argue and say, yes, that is all about about music it's all about the business because a competition needs to exist within um, you know uh, between uh, these persons for us to actually understand about the whole thing before I jump off I want to reveal to you that David O reveals that he's about to buy a McLaren as he ships his Rolls Royce down to Nigeria. That is actually huge, a big up for David O. They're making a lot of money. I think they still need to enjoy the lot of money which they've made for themselves. Let's have a glimpse of that video. She found the car for me. Nice. 
guys consider subscribing to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time i upload my videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media and don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section below